Hey, what's up guys? Bajiri here. Just want to make a quick video for you guys showing you a game that I randomly felt like playing after getting some of the uh, action RPG feeling rolling at BlizzCon playing the Diablo Immortal. So, and of course, posting the Diablo Immortal videos, a lot of you guys have been expressing your, I don't know, like different passionate opinions about the action RPG genre. And so I thought maybe if you guys haven't seen Torchlight 2 before, that might be a game that you guys will enjoy. So we had a pretty busy day today, uh, running around doing different doctor's visits and vet visits and stuff like that with Jenny. So at the end of the day, I was like, you know what? I just kind of feel like playing a game to, to grind a little bit on stream. So we played some Torchlight 2 and it was a lot of fun. So I want to make a short video for you guys today, letting you guys know this might be one of those games that might be up your alley if you're looking for a game to play. So it's kind of that classic like Diablo 2 style where you've got um, different points to allocate when you level up so you can do the point allocation but also your skill allocation and the skills come in a variety of different active abilities that are like you know damaging stuff debuff your opponents and a lot of really cool passives and three different talent trees so to speak and I think it's really fun I haven't played it in like five years I realized when I look back on YouTube but once again getting the action RPG uh, stirred the, the I guess the action RPG uh, feeling all stirred up after blizzcon kind of made me want to play some of this so i'm going to run through a little instance here and show you guys a little bit about it but yeah i mean if you guys are familiar with the action rpg genre i think torchlight 2 will will make sense to you guys i'm playing a character called berserker i think there's like four classes there's like a a, a magic casting class there's this guy which is the kind of character that i always play which is the just kind of get in there mix it up style you know, it's built around like slowly building up your damage with auto attacks and maybe cleaving some damage around and life stealing. And I just love this character style as the Berserker, right? So I usually play Berserker in like every game or something kind of like it, right? Like Barbarian and Diablo and Fury Warrior and WoW, all that kind of stuff. So this guy pretty much fits the build pretty well for me. Uh, so there's the basic stuff, right? You're going to kill stuff and get experience and get loot and. Of course, you're gonna get uh, your character progression in that way, but a couple things that are like unique about it is like I kind of like the art style. It's a little bit more of like a like a fantasy or cartoony art style, and I, I do tend to like that uh, style of art, which is fun. I think the way that the talent system works is pretty cool. Is that it's different than like uh, Diablo 3. I think it's different than like Path of Exile. I haven't played Grim Dawn yet, but that's another one that's kind of in that genre that people have suggested so we might eventually check out those games as well um but there's also i have a pet i mean maybe it's kind of hard to see because we're like killing a hundred million things at once here but uh, the pet is cool because not only it helps you battle but you can like equip him with loot which is cool and you know i guess my inventory is kind of full so i can show you you can take this pet and you can take all this junk that you don't need and normally you have to like, you know, hearth back to town or whatever and figure out a way to go sell the loot that you don't need. But what you can do with the pet is just send him back to town for you instead. So obviously he won't be here to help you battle for a short while and for two minutes it'll take him to come back. But during that time, you know, you can still farm and stuff, but your pet is going to be able to run out there and retrieve your gold for all your wares that you're selling that's kind of neat kind of helps you keep the grind up but to let, tell you a little bit about my character in terms of the way i built him um once again you, there's a variety of different active attacks you can have but i've kind of set him up just to kind of buff himself up with electricity that cleaves and then debuff my opponents this roar thing and then basically just unleash auto attacks and I'm trying to build up this little rage resource down here, this frenzy thing, so that um, once you fill that bar with this character, all your attacks crit. And then I have my talent set up where um, whenever I crit, it heals me with this talent right here, which is cool. And then I have talents that help me get enraged faster. So it does definitely play like a Fury Warrior. When I kill stuff, I get uh, faster attack speed and things like that. So. It's, it gives you some pretty neat options on how to build your character, but yeah, this guy's like based all around like auto attacks and stuff like that, so he's pretty fun. But yeah, the reason, like, like I said, the reason I want to make this video is because I've been enjoying posting the uh, the Diablo Immortal stuff, just because it was it was a fun game to play at BlizzCon, 
it's a new game that definitely has a lot of you know passionate opinions about it um but it definitely seems like some of those opinions are negative you know people are like well this isn't the action rpg that i was hoping for this isn't what i wanted to see at blizzcon from diablo and fair enough i mean i i what i, I talk about this on the stream a lot but i think that basically how that situation goes is that they're working on diablo 4 like almost certainly right and there's they said before blizzcon that they're working on a lot of different stuff with diablo and not all of it was ready to display at blizzcon so i i still think that people who are looking forward to that kind of to diablo 4 at blizzcon i understand like you, you guys are looking forward to it you didn't get what you were looking for now you're bummed right see it's just sent my pet just came back with all that kind of loot so that's sweet but um understandably bummed right but i think that that What's going on is that Blizzard... No, I don't have any expertise on this, but here's just what I'm thinking. Is that Blizzard is like... Mobile gaming is growing. And it's a genre that they've been in with Hearthstone. And that action RPGs especially, I think, are like a cool little uh, style of game for mobile. And they already had a really successful action RPG genre with Diablo. And so, like, you know what? Let's just do that. But I don't think that's like... in a, Like, replacing Diablo 4 or replacing other content from Diablo. I think it's just an addition to it but anyway um a lot of you guys are seeming like you're looking for some sort of action rpg to to play and enjoy and i know diablo is an awesome one but it's also not the only one so uh that's one of the reasons i want to make this video is because this is one of the ones i've enjoyed historically and i randomly felt like playing it uh tonight on stream and so i thought before i called it a night fully make a quick little video for you guys showing you a little bit about Torchlight 2. And I mentioned a couple other um, action RPGs that you guys may or may not have heard of. You know, like uh, Path of Exile, like Grim Dawn and things like that. And those are the kind of games that I also wouldn't mind uh, making videos about in addition to Diablo 3 if you guys are interested in that. Uh, I didn't play Diablo 3 tonight because De Diablo 3 is a game that Jenny loves and if I'm going to play Diablo I'd want to play with Jenny. So, um, but yeah. If you guys are interested in that genre, I'd definitely be interested in uh, making some more of these videos, especially because we're almost done, uh, almost done dieting for my competition. So my competition is in like a little over a week, and at that point, I'll be able to get a little bit more food in my system, which means that we can probably, you know, do our games and game streaming that we normally would do. Uh, this is a lot of freaking rares. What the heck? Um, and then probably at the end of the night, that might be a fun time to kick back and just kind of play some games that aren't usually like uh something that we can't have time to play but since i have more food in my system have a little bit more energy to play some games and i think that this kind of style of game is a really fun one to just sort of chill out with at the end of the night grind out some mobs you know kill some stuff get some loot work on a character and just have some fun with that so that's kind of what i'm thinking so if you guys are interested in seeing more action rpg style games it's a it's a genre that i really enjoy so Oh, nice. My fame increased. I don't know. I'm not really sure what the fame does, but that is something that you can that you can grind up. It's not only just experience, but also fame. If you guys have played this game before, you probably know more about it than I do. Oh, this got little guy. He can enchant your gear. I've already enchanted some things. Let's just throw an enchant on this guy. Why not? Okay, sure. Why not? Oh, these guys too. Boom. Nice. So there's a, a variety of the, like different cool things. Like in town, you can like, you have all the, your vendors. You have guys that will. I think I have a little enchanter guy in my town too. Um, and there's also like a gem system. So in my inventory right now, I have just a couple of gems that I'm holding on to in the top part of that inventory. So I can, uh, if I ever get some cool loot that has gems and you can put that in there, it's just basic stuff like you know, resistance or extra damage, something like that. So. That's kind of what I've got set up for now, but this is just like a really, like a, it's, it's like a cool little art style. It's got cool character progression. Another thing that's really neat about it, it reminds me of Diablo 2, is how um, there's like a, now I only, I only noticed because I streamed it tonight and people were asking me about it, but there's like a pretty heavy modding community for this game too, so like there's four classes that, that you start with, but apparently one of the things that the modding can do is actually make like more classes for you. And so that's another thing that, that might be interesting about this game compared to something like uh, Path of Exile, which I don't believe has a lot of modding involved in that one. Um, and I don't know about Grim Dawn, but I also I kind of want to check out Grim Dawn and have a look at that and see what that's all about. Because I've heard of that one. It's also on Steam, so it's easy to get. 
So the modding action on that is kind of interesting too. I don't know what the end game in this game looks like or anything like that. Once again, I'm not an expert. It's just basically just kind of trying to be like, oh, you know what? It seems like a lot of people who are passionate about the action RPG genre. And this is a fun one that I've enjoyed historically and randomly ended up playing it tonight. So I'll make a video about it, right? But we're sort of progressing through this one dungeon. Let me, let me go load up my pet again. All this junk. I'm pretty much sticking to... Uh, interesting. That could be fun. I'm pretty much sticking to this... Uh, the two claw weapons, because that allows me to do this particular type of attack that I like to do. The, the execute, or the eviscerate. Excuse me, the good loot. Give me that. Which uh, allows me to charge my little frenzy meter more quickly. A secret room? Oh. Cool, let's do it. Oh my gosh. Don't kill me, bro. So this uh, wolf thing. It's not a minute cooldown, but I summon a wolf that obviously does damage, but also heals me as well. So it's kind of all adding into that, that sustain, super fast attacking. You know, trying to regen HP at the same time. And now, on some of my weapons, it's common to have that, uh, that, like, you know, mana drain, or... I'd like to have more health, like, drain, I guess. I have armor drain already, so that makes me a little bit tankier. Helps me debuff my opponents, that's kind of cool, so. Obviously, this is, this is my kind of guy, but they have an engineer. I think they have, like, a... I think it's, like, a magic and, like, a gun guy, so that's kind of cool, too. But... This is this is my kind of dude that I that I'd play and just, just whatever game. I was like that that melee guy, but he's really fun because, like I said, he's so, he's got a lot of auto attack focused stuff. So once you get your once you get your buffs rolling and the debuffs rolling, you just kind of just kill everything. <laughs> it's pretty cool. But yeah, I thought you guys might like this game a little bit. But it's 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 not a new game, but it it feels like it's um, still being updated just because things. I think that there's things in this game. Either I just haven't played it in a long time, I don't remember it, or. It's just, it seems like there's new stuff, but because it has this art, particular art style, I feel like it kind of has a lot of, like, staying power. Like, the graphics don't really, like, you know, don't, they don't really get that dated just because it looks nice. Because it's already that, this fantasy style. But I like that fantasy style anyway, like, from from WoW and things like that. Okay, so now we're going to fight the boss. Probably got to take a potion. Ooh, I have points and stuff to spend. Let me do that first. So I've been doing, like, one strength. I've been doing two dexterity and two vitality. Usually, you know, I like to play those big strength characters, but this guy scales so nicely off of crit I've been doing that and in terms of my skills I already put a ton of points in executioner but I don't know if I'd be against putting more points in I kind of I've been putting points in this attack too just because the the increased like effect that it has like making opponents take more damage and stuff like that okay so now I also get the tier one bonus having it be a wider range but I like executioner and rampage and there's different, like, you know, just buffing physical damage, ice damage. You can shatter your opponents and they're frozen. You counterattack. You cleave with crits. You steal armor. Makes my frenzy last longer. There's lots of cool stuff that goes on with this character. And I imagine that's the case with other characters, too. I haven't played them all, obviously, but definitely some cool stuff going on. So this, I think this is, like, the first boss of the act. So, spoiler alert, but, you know, I'm showing you guys a run through the dungeon. May as well have fun with it, so... If you guys are looking for a, a Diablo-esque game, like I, th I think I always call these like, they, they actually used to just be called Diablo clones, right? The action RPG genre. But if you guys are looking for a game in that style of Diablo, you might like this one a lot. So the cool thing about this guy is he is definitely a boss killer. Once I, once I get that single target damage rolling on the boss, look how fast my frenzy meters. I might, I might not even get another frenzy meter, but. My frenzy meter goes up really fast, and as long as I have a few potions, we just get through it no problem. Just crush this guy, especially once I get that frenzy mode. Get the crits going. Ooh, I got a nice claw. Could be good for me. Let me see. Oh, I have two of them now. Oh, wait, no. So I have beat down and cannonball glove. <laughs> cool. So I have the 166 crit minus armor, health stolen the socket and then I have this guy the attack speed cast speed but I just don't know if it's better to give up my weapons that I already have because they're so good 193 I'll think about it I'll think about it but either way uh, <laughs> it's kind of a fun game to play I think that you guys will enjoy it we already I already did the quest so I don't get the boss chest and stuff but if you guys are looking for an action RPG style game Torchlight 2 is definitely one to 
to investigate. Once again, it's on Steam. I, th I don't think it's very expensive. It's It's been around for a while, but if you guys are looking for a game to play, this one might be a fun one for you. It's got a cool cool combat system, kind of, you know, colorful battles. I, I put my... Uh, I put my floating combat text to verbose, which is why you see so much stuff popping up, like the health regen and stuff, but it's got a nice little art style, good combat style. Uh, the character progression is fairly straightforward, just with points that you put in your uh, stats, you put points that you put in your, into your talents as well. It has a little bit of a pet system so that you can send your pet back. You also get to equip your pet with, with a particular, you know, item, so there's that too, so it's a fun one. Thought you guys might enjoy it. Randomly ended up, you know, deciding to play it tonight, and so... Decided to make a video before we call it a night. But hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace!